The purpose is to investigate the acid-base indicator equilibrium system to gain a deeper understanding of equilibrium and Le Chatelier's principle. To perform this lab, you will need 1 milliliter of 0.4% bromethanol blue indicator, 2 milliliters of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid, 2 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, distilled water, a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, test tubes, and a test tube rack. In this lab, we use the indicator bromethanol blue to determine the pH of the solution and how it changes during this reaction. An indicator is a dye that can gain or lose hydrogen ions in order to form substances that have different colors. The reaction is as shown. The indicator alone is green. When NaOH is added to the indicator alone, the solution is blue. When HCl is added to the indicator alone, the solution is yellow. When both HCl and NaOH were added to the indicator, the solution was still yellow. First, we created two identical test tube solutions containing HCl, NaOH, and indicator. One will act as control. Next, we place the experimental tube in a hot water bath of 70 degrees Celsius. After three minutes, we compared the two tubes and found that there was no change. Then, we placed the experimental tube in an ice bath. After three minutes, we compared the experimental to the control, and there was again no change. Lastly, we altered the pressure of the experimental group by inserting all the experimental solution into a syringe. Then we pushed the syringe in to decrease the volume and therefore increase the pressure. We also pulled the syringe back in order to increase the volume and decrease the pressure. Once again, there was no change between the experimental and control. When we changed the temperature, there was no change in the system. Change in temperature did not affect our solution. According to Le Chatelier's principle, if you make a change to the conditions of a reaction in dynamic equilibrium, the position of equilibrium moves to counter the change you have made. However, when the test tube was placed in hot water and cold water, there was no change. When we changed the pressure and volume, the system also did not change. This is because there were no gases in the system. Changing pressures only has an effect on a system if there are gases involved. When HCl, an acid, is added, it is adding H plus ions to the reaction, which causes the reaction to shift left. When NaOH, a base, is added, H plus ions are being removed from the action, which, is, which causes the reaction to shift right. Since HCl is a strong acid, it disassociates completely so there are more products, therefore shifting the system to the left. When NaOH is, was added with HCl and the indicator, it counteracted the strong acid by shifting the system right and placing the reaction back at equilibrium. In this lab, we gained a deeper understanding of equilibrium and Le Chatelier's principle. To do so, we changed the conditions of a system in order to observe the effects. The conditions that we changed were temperature, pressure, and concentration of H plus from the product side. When excess H plus ions were added to the system from HCl, more of the chemicals on the product side was added. In order to compensate for this change and once again reach equilibrium, the system shifted left. When sodium hydroxide was added to the system, OH negative ions were disassociated and then bonded to the H plus ions. This removed H plus from the system because the system had to shift right in order to reach equilibrium. Temperature and pressure did not have any effect on the system. Sources of error in our lab included inaccurate measurements due to human error. To correct this, you should be very careful in your measurements and try to be as precise as possible. We expected our reaction to show signs of change when temperature was altered. That was a possible source of error. However, we did follow procedure. 
but to prevent this, make sure you are using all the correct materials and concentrations.